we are going to address an issue that has been created by Apple with the update to the sharing system in Ventura, which means that you can no longer share a copy of a Pages document or document from any of the iWork apps without first exporting a copy somewhere on your system. We will start simple and actually create a shortcut that will just email the PDF version of the file and then we will expand it to allow us to create a copy in a format of our choosing and send it using a method of our choosing. To start, create a new shortcut by clicking the plus button as before. Again, assign a color and icon and name your shortcut. We're going to configure the shortcut as a quick action. So make sure to select the relevant box on the settings for the app. We also want to make sure that this action only accepts files as its input type. Click where it says any and from the resulting popover, tap the clear button, followed by putting a tick in the box next to files. There is an action called make PDF and you wouldn't be remiss to think that this would be the next action that we require. However, due to the way that the iWork apps behave, this option doesn't work with a pages, numbers or keynote document. So instead of the make PDF action, we are actually going to use a run Apple script action instead. We won't go into the specifics of the code in this tutorial, but essentially we tell the pages application to export a PDF to the desktop with the name temppdf.pdf. Now that our script has created the PDF file, we need to get that file so that we can do something with it. We use the get file from folder action and configure it to get from the desktop, the file with the name temppdf.pdf. Next, we grab a send email action and drag it into the flow. It takes the file that we retrieved in the step above and sends it as an attachment to an email. Lastly, we need to delete our temporary file. So we use the delete files action, which takes the temporary file and deletes it. We don't want the shortcut to ask about the deletion of a file every time it's run. So we need to put a tick in the delete immediately box. This won't work, however, unless we also allow the shortcuts app to delete files without asking. To do this, access the shortcuts app preferences and select advanced and put a tick in the allow deleting without confirmation tick box. It will still ask the first time you run the shortcut, but after that, it will work with the expected behavior. Unfortunately, in Ventura, there is a bug, which means this delete immediately option doesn't work. And you'll have to manually confirm the deletion of the temporary file when the shortcut is run by unticking the box. Now we can test our shortcut by selecting our pages document in the finder and then using the option under the quick actions menu. Now that we have the foundation in place, we can adapt it to fit the wider needs of the feature that was removed from the iWork apps.